Hi, I'm just going to do a really quick um, sum up my feelings on Real Housewives of Potomac, a show I really used to enjoy, but of course it has deteriorated. The deterioration for me was around the time of Monique and Candace's fights, and uh, Monique was thrown off the show. Uh, I liked Monique. I liked her better than Candace. I wanted Candace to leave. However, when they reviewed images of what happened during the fight and they showed Monique trying to um, push past the security guard and get back to continue her fight with Candace, well, I realized Monique had a mental problem, anger issue, um, and she pretty much had to go because you can't have a person like that working around the staff and the actors and so forth. So I realized that and I knew that Barbro didn't want to get rid of both girls, which I think they should have at that time, but they kept Candace and it's been a horror ever since. I just can't stand to watch this show because Candace has the worst mouth ever and I don't even want to hear those things. I don't want to hear those about anybody and the things she spews out so rapidly. So you know she practices this. She's saying it to everybody. She's repeating it over and over. And these are her ingrained, heartfelt thoughts. She's a racist. She's against her husband, although he doesn't know it. And she is against light, the lighter skin people on this show. So I'm so glad to hear she was leaving. It's about time. I think Wendy has to go also because you know uh, Candace is a team person. You're either on her team or you're not. And so she has recruited Wendy to be on her team and has shared her anger and jealousy and so forth with Wendy. And Wendy will come back and uh, poison the show. She has a friendship with Candace and she will be contacting her during the next season. And she will be expressing Candace's hatred, anger, and jealousy at the other girls. And it's going to poison the show. You've got to get rid of Wendy, too, because Wendy, who, Wendy does not act like a professional. She looks, to me, always like a hooker. She has her breasts hanging out no matter what. She has her uh, clothing up to her crotch. She's wearing all those wigs that don't fit her. You know, the last show she was in, that blonde wig, which looked absolutely ridiculous. And I think uh, I think she got all of this plastic surgery when she found out she was going to be on the show. She wanted to become um, a sex symbol. But, you know, she has to go. I think this Wendy is a poor role model for people who want to go into teaching, academics, um, get a higher level of education. Uh, you know, she looks like somebody you'd see on the street corner. And she also has a foul mouth and so forth. So I would say get rid of Wendy also. Now, as for Mia, everybody likes Mia. She's fun to be with. But I knew she was wrong for the show when she came on. And she explained that she was, well, she was a hooker, in fact. And a, a stripper. Uh, she married her husband because he had this business she wanted to get in on it as an executive. <clears throat> and um, he had money. So the minute the uh, business went under, when she couldn't call herself an executive, when she couldn't throw around his money anymore, well, their marriage was over. That's a very, very poor role model for black women, for any woman. And the fact that she was having sex with a friend during their whole marriage, she has embarrassed her husband, Gordon, on television. He is humiliated. He could come back and shoot up the whole staff of these people because you just don't treat people like that. And now she plans to go off and bring this guy that she's been sleeping with during her whole marriage, one of whom she has had a baby with and told Gordon it was his. I mean, I think that is far beyond anything that we expect for this type of show. So Mia can have her own show. There are plenty of shows out there who have women like Mia on them so she can continue her following. But I don't think she's fit for the Real Housewives of the Potomac. Uh, I like 
Um, of course, I like Giselle. I think she needs to stay. I like Robin. I think she needs to stay. Robin's uh, marriage is very common in the black uh, community where her husband has fallen in love with somebody else and she is still trying to keep her marriage together and keep her family with her sons. I don't like the demeaning comments about her marriage as she is trying to fight for it. Whether it works or not, that's up to her. She has a special type of marriage in that she's known her husband since they were in high school or something like that. So it's a long, long-term arrangement and he even lived with her family before they got married. So they have a different kind of bond than most marriages and I think we need to give Robin some respect. We need to uh, see what goes on with her marriage, see how she lives with this knowledge that Juan is having a relationship outside of the marriage and just see how it goes. I think she has a relationship that a lot of um, black women will respond to. Giselle, same thing. You know, her husband has been um, active outside of their marriage. Uh, she got a divorce. She is raising beautiful children, three beautiful girls. She has good reason to be angry at Candace's husband because Giselle is a party girl and she knows what it's like when somebody traps you in a room, closes the door, anything can happen. She is trying to be a good role model to her girls and the sending the message, you do not let a man follow you into your room and close the door behind him because you could end up molested, raped, or even packed up in a suitcase and carried down the elevator. So I think Giselle is sending a good message of caution to all the women out there and I think she is a great asset to the show. As far as Ashley, um, I don't, I didn't like Ashley that much when she came on because, you know, it was clear she had married for money and when she told her husband that if he closed the restaurant she was gone, I mean that was weird and now she has these two children. But I don't know how Ashley's going to work out. I think Mia needs to stay out of Ashley's marriage. Um, uh, Mia, being a you know former prostitute and a, a stripper, has no knowledge of marriage or of what's going on or is able to give any advice to anybody about marriage. And I think Mia might be looking at Ashley's husband and thinking he has money. Maybe she'll go for him. So I think... I don't like it when Mia says anything about Ashley's marriage or Ashley's divorce. Mia needs to stay completely out of Ashley's relationship. And then there's Karen, of course. Um, well, Karen is, uh, you know, she shows a marriage where uh, uh, the couple is older and the woman has married an even older man and kind of the different energy levels. But Karen is basically a good person. Uh, her recent DUI shows that she did have a alcohol problem. I don't know what it's currently, um, what the status is currently with that. I don't know how she's going to be charged in court for her accident. And we'll just have to see what follows on that. But I think we need to get rid of uh, Candice, thank heaven she's gone. I think we need to keep um, Robin and we need to get rid of Wendy. Now there are a lot of Nigerians and you could always have a Nigerian show which would keep the um, Nigerians happy to see Wendy on a different show, but Wendy does not fit on Real Housewives of the Potomac um, and she has also threatened to fight Giselle when Giselle spoke about Wendy's husband and so that's the, we don't need more fights and Giselle Giselle doesn't want fights Robin doesn't want fights neither does Ashley so I think for the violence I think we need to also move Wendy off this Real Housewives of the Potomac and if she wants another show they can decide if they want to give her one but this is not the show for Wendy so we need to say goodbye to Wendy and Candace finally, and that will help to make this show better. I think the people picking people to come on the show need to um, 
need advisement as to what type of people would fit best on uh, this show in the future. Make it watchable and enjoyable, which it has not been for years. Okay, that's my opinion. Like and subscribe. Bye.